Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Tribes Ascend. And this is a free-to-play sci-fi first-person shooter MMO. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm already logged in. You can see at the top here my name, Limpy. My rank is already rank 4. You can see my progression towards the next rank. You can see right here is a boost, shows no boost. You can actually purchase booster packs to experience and stuff like that. When uh, you go into the cash shop, you can actually purchase those also with the GP that you earn. So you don't necessarily have to use, I'm sorry, the XP that you earned. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use the gold um, and stuff like that. But let's run through a few things here. One thing that I highly recommend is that you run through the training. You get the ski tutorial, target practice, the ski challenge, and the roam map. The ski tutorial is probably the, the most important simply because the skiing aspect of this game is something that's completely different from a lot of other games. It really comes to be an advantage if you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it, it becomes it becomes a disadvantage. So you can use it to really build up a lot of speed, uh, do really high jumps, stuff like that. Target practice is really good to jump into. Get yourself dialed in, get a lot of your settings all dialed in on moving targets and things like that, your mouse sensitivity, all that good stuff. Then you've got the ski challenge for when you're perfecting your skiing, and then you've got a roam map where you can just roam around and look at stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and look at some of the classes. As you can see here, there's three classes available right from the start, the Pathfinder, the Soldier, and the Juggernaut. You can see I mainly, mainly spend my time on the soldier. He's got 18% complete. Now, as you earn XP, you'll be able to unlock things like the Sentinel. You can see for 7,200 experience, I can unlock him, the Infiltrator. The one that I'm kind of looking forward to is the Technician. You can see he can kind of set up turrets and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to saving up towards that one. And you can see right at the top right-hand corner, I've got 3,304 XP saved up. Now with each of these guys, you can go in and they're gonna have different weapons available. They're gonna have primary weapon, secondary weapon, belt item, and as you can see, all the way down, including these different perks, but we'll get into those in a second. The primary weapon, as you can see here, you can take and I can spend my XP to actually upgrade it. You can see the first upgrade gave me plus 56 ammo. The next upgrade will actually give me, actually that, that would be the first upgrade. I haven't upgraded this at all. Uh, the first upgrade would upgrade to the plus 56 ammo, then so on and so forth across the bottom there. Then you've got additional weapons that you can unlock. You can see they're very expensive as far as the XP site, so you're going to have to play a lot to get to those. But the big one for him that I use is the secondary weapon. So as you can see, I've already upgraded this a few times to get the plus 5 ammo and plus 20% damage versus armored. I just don't have the additional plus 5 ammo. And then later on, you've got the Eagle Pistol. And you can do that with all of these different items, the frag grenade, the energy pack, the armor upgrade. But let's take a look at the perks. And now with the perks, you can unlock these and they've got different uh, aspects to them. So if you take a look at rage, if you're near a flag when an enemy picks it up, you become enraged, rage rate you plus 50% energy regeneration for 10 seconds. And all of these have different aspects that will come in very handy. Now you can either buy your way to these with, you know, just go and buy gold, or you can save up by playing a lot and earning a lot of XP. So there's dual ways to actually earn pretty much as you can see everything in the game there's yet to be anything that we've covered that doesn't have an xp factor along with a gp factor so the game really didn't want this to be uh pay to win now obviously you can get there much more much more quickly and it's a convenience but it's definitely not one of those things that you could see somebody's going to be able to get something that's completely imbalanced so we're going to go ahead and go back and that was the modified classes the store this is new items you can buy whether it be gold bundle uh, bundle packs where you can you can see you could get different skins and stuff like that the xp boosters that we were talking about or change your name very few things actually in the in in that shop right there it's very basic very simple stuff so they're not trying to inundate the game with all this like i said all this buy to win stuff and then you've got your profile now with your profile you go through and you see all the different things that you've got going on your match stats your combat stats your objectives you also see my most recent rewards down or awards down here sorry um and then you've got your accolades which these are kind of cool because they're basically like mini achievements and every single time you achieve one or every single game you play you have the potential to achieve one as you can see like on this one right here i've got 14 of them because i've done 14 assists so on and so forth and then you've got multiple different ones whether it be in the arena general combat flag objective spree so on and so forth there's just a ton of these that you can actually earn and earn on a regular basis and you do get additional xp when you do earn these so they're very worth taking and understanding what these are and actually trying to accomplish them as you're playing your different matches because you're going to get more xp which gives you which eventually will allow you to unlock more things unlock more classes and all that good stuff you get your settings so you can go in, change your mouse sensitivity, change your video settings, all that good jazz. You've got extras, which is just some extra options to quit the game. But let's get into playing now. 
we are on the west coast so we're going to jump in there and you can see i only have a few different options available team deathmatch and capture the flag you've got uh, actually you know what now that i'm level four capture and hold and the custom servers these open up at level four and so that's why that's now available so i can actually capture and hold different control points and stuff like that i can actually play in that game and then i've got to reach level eight so i can actually open up the arena but we're going to jump into a team deathmatch you can see it does not take long really really quick to get in there and we're going to start running around it's uh it's been a little bit since i played but uh we'll, we'll see if we can't do all right so we're going to go ahead and choose demon sword side and then i'm going to choose my usual the soldier cool thing is is moving around i'm actually getting shot at by i don't know who so trying to get my bearings so i show you guys a couple of things now you don't have the, the the traditional space bar jump the space bar is actually so you can you can do the skiing so you can actually cruise down and get shot at so and then if you want to fly around it's just a right click let's go ahead and switch weapons because i kind of like this weapon even though i've got to get it nice and close and let's chase after this guy with our buddy and get up here he's over here somewhere and he's taken off he knows he's got both of us on his ass so <clears throat> but with the team with the team deathmatch it's just like anything else or any other game with team deathmatch it essentially is um you and your teammates against another group and their teammates. Let's see where this guy went. Where'd he go? But you can see the maps are really lush, really cool environments. Definitely has that nice sci-fi feel. You get a, uh, a good idea of what's going on in these maps. You can, uh, you can certainly run around and do the roam tutorial. Let's see if we can get this guy. Boom, there we go. Got him from a distance. So a nice little, nice little bunch. But you can see right there, the enemy has 39 lives left. And that is essentially how many lives until the team deathmatch is over. The nice thing with these games is they go nice and quick. They don't take too long. Where'd he go? We got guys flying all over the place here. Bounce around. Use our use our jetpack now as you can see with the jetpack down in the bottom corner you can see i'm regenerating that energy right now you have to you have to wait until you've got the energy to basically uh fly around and do all that stuff so you've got to uh you got to save that up you've got to be uh diligent with exactly let's see if we can get that guy oh where'd he go hit that guy there we go and then our buddy got him so i got an assist and as you can see like i was saying you've got the uh you've got the different <laughs> you've got the different achievements that i just earned like i got another assist right there and you can see plus 250 so that's what we're getting every time every time you get an assist every time you get a kill obviously it's worth far more where you go he's up in the air somewhere But they definitely are, are, are doing a good job of, of coming to us. So, But like I was saying, with the, uh, with the graphics and stuff like that, you can see the graphics are really, really, really well done as far as the environments are concerned. I am actually out of ammo. So I need to go run around and I need, either need to die or I need to... Uh, let's actually switch, wep switch weapons. I need to die or I need to uh, hit one of, the, uh, one of the inventory little spots. Let's see if we can get some random shit going on in here these guys are dying all over the place we probably have an inventory spot up in here so usually we can cruise up and there we go so the nice thing about it is you can eat you can get out of combat you can run up to these inventory stations get your inventory up switch back to our other weapon and let's go get this flag guy oh he's pretty far away boom there we go Got another little kill, and they're down to 12. This guy's hardly got any health left at all. Let's see if we can get lucky. Like I said, you can really build up a lot of speed using the using the skiing function. So it's highly recommended that you that you really learn how to use that. And that guy got him. So let's take off this way. We've got the flag guy over here. And you can see where all the inventory stations are. You can see they look like ammo out in the distance all that good jazz so let's go after the flag guy here we go let's cruise over here get some speed up with our skiing 
We got a few guys over here. Let's see if we can. Oh, he died right before I was able to shoot him. Keep getting my kills stolen. So, but here we go. Let's let's cruise over here. Use our skiing a little bit. Build up some speed. We're definitely going to win this game. They've only got three guys left or three lives left. And you guys will be able to see. Now, you can obviously see at the top, there's also a time limit for all these games. Um, I do have the sound turned down because it was up really, really high earlier. So you can't really hear the music, but all of the, uh, all of the different uh, maps and all of the different game modes have great music to them. We actually need to switch weapons. I'm getting shot at. Get up and over this hill. Come on, one more guy. That's all we need. Can't believe somebody hasn't died yet. There we go. Match victory. So our team wins. You can see the credits right there. Ready Collins. So I didn't use any of my Ready Collins because you can actually tactically make Collins and stuff like that. First win of the day. So I got some extra EX, or XP. So you can see I got 4,700. You can see all the different things that I earned. Match complete, boost, not earned, and I did earn rank 5, so I ranked up as well. All this different stuff, then we can go see the leaderboard. Where actually was I on the leaderboard? Right there. Two kills, two assists, all that good jazz. So let's head out of here. I want to show you guys real quick before I have to go. I want to show you guys the uh, one of the other game modes, which let's go to play now real quick, and let's go to capture the flag. The reason I want to show you guys this is because inside of the capture the flag modes there's actual vehicles and they're really cool they range anything from like motorcycle type vehicles to big tank type vehicles stuff like that so there's a lot of different vehicles that are that are going on and it really changes the entire dynamic of a game so it's really worth it to kind of play around with uh, the different game modes especially because there's also achievements and things of that nature that you can actually earn when you use those uh when you use those different vehicles. So you really wanna take and, and use those as you're going through the game. Now we're getting close to being able to level up. I'm really, really tempted to jump in there, modify my class and upgrade some of my other stuff, but I'm gonna hold off, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna actually modify it, I'm gonna wait. I'm hoping I can get into this, this match here really quick because I was hoping that it wouldn't take this long, but it seems to be taking a little bit of time. Trying to think of what else I can tell you guys about. Um, the do the hotkey for uh, grenades is just E, so you can just take and throw a grenade really quick. Um, there's little things like that. Uh, Overall, I mean, like I was saying before, graphically the game looks really good. There's a lot of different maps, and they're already right out of the gate adding new maps to the game, um, and new the new uh, game modes are planned for the future as far as as that stuff is concerned. I'm really wondering why it's taken so long to get into this match. I really want to show you guys a capture the flag. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of people playing capture the flag right now, so I can't get into the match. Let's actually leave the queue. I bet you a lot of people are playing the other the other capture and hold. So let's see if we can get into that one really quick. There we go. That's much, much quicker. So same same uh, idea here. Capture and hold various control points. Control point is captured by touching its point switch. So we're going to go ahead and jump on the diamond sword side. Let's grab our soldier. We've got a little bit of weather going on here, which is kind of cool. As you can see, all the different control points that are out there. And you can see we've got... We've got some uh, some vehicles already running around, so we want to see if we can catch up to him. Use our skiing a little bit and get up in the air, get him taken out. Come on, let's see if we can get over there. We've got our turns fighting on him, beating on him a little bit. Let's see if we can get a long shot. We did. We obliterated it. So now it's a matter of starting to capture some of these 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 points. Oh, and I got blasted away. Let's get up in here. So we got a capture point. Let's go after this guy here.
There we go. At least we got our one kill. <laughs> so as you can see, the maps are really large. You run around. You've got vehicles cruising all over the place. So people are getting around much, 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 much more quickly. Sorry. And um, and also they have a lot more firepower with those uh, with those those tanks and the different um, the different vehicles that they're using. There we go. Another little kill right there. Oh, we got the bike down. So let's get up. Get up this hill here. Ugh. I hate it when I'm out of energy in my energy pack. One thing I definitely have to upgrade. There we go. Yep, that thing's all taken out. So let's see if we can go find anybody else. These guys are capturing our, our waypoints. Come on. There we go. Took long enough. But either way, you guys get the uh, you guys get the general idea of what's going on here. The game is really fun. Really kind, of, really well done maps. Really good graphics. Um, I know I'm saying really a lot, but all those are <laughs> are very well done. And for a sci-fi shooter, something that is, there's not a lot of in the marketplace, especially in the free-to-play marketplace, it's definitely worth it. If you like the genre, check it out. Uh, we definitely give it a, give it a very high rating. And I'm gonna die here. So let's see if we can let's see if we can get lucky and take this guy out. Nope, I died. So there, you guys got to see me die. Anyways, much better than my usual first-person shooter where all I do is die. I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. Don't forget to comment and tell us anything you liked or anything you didn't like about this video. Also, please don't forget to like these videos. They really do help. If you'd like to play or learn more about Tribes Ascend, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.